What are you doing, Lavinia? I'm building a big palace. And why did you choose to build a palace? To put my doll inside it and keep her safe. Ah, you reminded me of a very beautiful saint, Lavinia. Her father did exactly the same thing with her. What did he do? Did he put her in a palace too? Yes, because she was so beautiful, he built her a high tower to protect her and keep her safe. Who is this saint, Dad? Her name is Saint Barbara. Can you tell me her story, please? Of course, my dear. Come sit next to us and we'll tell you her story. Saint Barbara was born from a non-Christian family. Her father's name was Dioscorus. When Barbara grew up, her father built her a large palace and he put guards around the gates of the palace to protect her. Oh, how beautiful is the sky, the birds and the sun, and how beautiful is the Creator who created all this beauty. The Creator is our Lord, my lady. He created all these beautiful things for us. Our Lord, who is the Lord? Tell me more about him, please. I will take you to a man called Origen, and he can tell you more about our Lord, Jesus Christ. And indeed, Barbara met Origen, and he told her about our Lord Jesus Christ, and gave her a Bible to read, and taught her how to pray. Barbara read a lot about our Lord, and she decided that she would live all her life to serve Jesus. She also removed all the idols from the palace, and put a cross in her room, and used to pray in front of it. Oh, what do you think her dad will do when he found out that she became a Christian? He was very angry, and he told Barbara to worship the idols. Barbara? Yes, Dad? What is this that you are hanging in your room? This is the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, creator of heaven and earth. What is this nonsense you are saying? We only worship our idols. I believe in Jesus Christ, and I want to live for him all my life. How dare you? I will make you regret what you have done. Oh, Mum, what happens then? Her father took her to the governor, and there they tried to make her change her mind. Barbara, your father told me that you are following Jesus. If you turn back from what is in your mind and pray to our idols, I will do whatever you wish for. I am Christian, and I do not want any money or wealth. I just want to live with my Lord. I will give you one last chance to pray to the idols, or you will die. Jesus told us, do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. I am a Christian, and no matter what you do, I will never leave my Lord Jesus. The governor tortured Barbara repeatedly, and in the midst of these tortures, Jesus appeared to her, strengthening and healing Barbara from all her wounds. Oh, really, Mum? Lord Jesus never leaves us and is always with us. Of course, Lavinia. Our Lord never abandons his children. While Saint Barbara was being tortured, a girl named Juliana saw how Jesus healed Barbara from all of her wounds, and Juliana also became Christian. Barbara and Juliana received the wreath of martyrdom in the same day, and our church celebrates their feast on the 8th of Kiak. Wow, what a wonderful story. I like how Barbara and Juliana had a strong faith and they feared nothing. Can I see their icons? Sure, let's search Google. Here it is. This is Saint Barbara, and you can see Saint Juliana behind her. Look how beautiful they are. You will also find that she is wearing a crown and beautiful clothes because she was from a very rich family. Now I will continue building my sandcastle and when I finish it, I will put a large cross on it like Saint Barbara did. Your castle will be as beautiful as Saint Barbara's castle was. And tomorrow, we'll tell you another story for another great saint. 